Uh, I'm excited to be here, uh, and more so for being given the opportunity to make a speech at this wonderful event. Uh, more so because after 28 plus years of knowing Ndiwe and multiple debates and disputes, he's finally admitted that I'm the best man. <laughs> my, my job here is simple. It's simply to make the vote of thanks and to make a toast. Uh, but before I do, I just want to give uh, some few advice to Ndiwe and Nkamo. Uh, about marriage. It is custom in our culture uh, that advice should come from the elderly and rightly so uh, because of the experience. What has not been normalized is peer-to-peer -peer interactions and yet the largest influences we get are from our friends uh, both in our personal and the matters that uh, affect us day to day. So I wanted to say Ndiwe and Nkamo Marriage is not about winning or losing an argument. It's about choosing to make the relationship work each and every day. I also wanted to say uh, to both of you, especially you Ndiwe, that it does not make you less of a man to choose peace over chaos in the home. Uh, likewise, in Kamo, you must practice grace. You must understand the imperfections of humanity and let the poor guy have some faults. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, like the pastor said in the morning, he said, divorce is not an option. So I will say to you, communicate respectfully but more importantly, don't stop trying. In marriage, you have a lot of highs and lows, but the moment you give up is the moment your marriage breaks. So, Ndiwe, today you are walking away with a beautiful, uh, warm-hearted and kind woman. Uh, likewise, in uh, Nkamo, you are walking away with a beautiful dress and a bouquet of roses. Uh, Nkambo, I just wanted to do a small exercise. Can you put your right hand flat on the table? And Ndiwe, put your left hand on top of her. And just to say, Ndiwe, enjoy this moment. It is the first and last time in your marriage that you have the upper hand. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, with, with, with this little advice, I, I wanted to close by saying that um, there, like, like mom said, there are people who we have loved and lost who are not here in the room and on behalf of the bride and groom we know that would have loved them to be here.